Welcome back to Living 757. Now, as we all know, each month brings attention to some form of awareness, right? And of course, amongst other things, May is also Stroke Awareness Month, which means our good friends at Riverside are here to show us how they can not only uh, educate, but treat patients and help them with proper prevention. My name is Jamika Royal, and I had a stroke, actually two strokes, a year to the day. Today, as a matter of fact, the left side of my body was kind of tingly. And I messaged my doctor on my chart, and I told her, I said, I'm, I'm, these are the symptoms that I'm having. Do you think I need to come in? And she was like, uh, no, don't come to us. <laughs> you need to go right to the emergency room. We're going to send you over to Overseas. We're going to admit you. I had the test done and it was like, well, everything was clear. You know, we're gonna go ahead and send you home. I didn't have any deficits from the stroke. So as far as they were concerned, I had it. It didn't do anything. I was, I passed my swallow test. I passed all these tests, which I didn't realize I had failed when I was in the emergency room. It's very important to call 911 as soon as you think you're having symptoms of a stroke or brain attack, because the longer it takes for us to open that blood vessel back up, the more damage you will have to your brain. And the brain does not recover well when it is damaged. Of course, we never know what type of stroke you're having until you come to the emergency department and we're able to perform different imaging tests on you to see what exactly is going on. There are actually two different types of stroke. One of them is caused by a blockage in a blood vessel in the brain, and the other one is actually caused by a ruptured vessel or just a bleeding in the brain. Um, they can present with very similar symptoms, some of them. Um, sometimes a stroke patient may come in and their symptoms that they present with are just a little bit of numbness in their right arm. Maybe they have a little facial droop. Um, sometimes the patient comes in, they're not able to speak. They cannot move an entire side of their body. We always use the acronym BFAST. Those are all stroke signs and symptoms. And if you or a loved one ever notice these signs or symptoms with anyone, you wanna make sure that you call 911 immediately. The first time this, on this side, everything was numb. Even my tongue, split down the middle, my tongue, my gums, my cheeks, my ear, my eyebrows, my eyelashes, even when my hair would touch my face, it had the weirdest sensation. My clothes, when it brushed against my skin, it was just a very unnerving sensation, but now I'm having it on the right side. So I'm like, well, I'm on my way to my primary care doctor, so I couldn't be in any, any better place than at the doctor's office, right? So we get in there and they work me up and I'm telling the nurse when she's doing the, the, the assessment what's going on. And she was like, okay, so, um, so when did this happen last week? And I said, no, it's happening now. And she was like, wait a minute. She was like, I thought we were talking about the stroke from last. I said, no, I said, I'm having these symptoms now. And she was like, hold it. <laughs> and she dashed out the room and she went and got the doctor because she was, she, the doctor was with another patient. And so then my doctor comes flying in there and she was like, okay, Ms. Royal, what's going on right now? And I'm telling her what's going on. And she said, okay, this appointment is over right now. You are going to Riverside. I hear on the, over the intercom, brain attack, brain attack, trauma room two, brain attack, brain attack, trauma room two. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, somebody's brain is getting attacked not realizing they were talking about me. When I tell you this nurse drove me like a NASCAR driver, she, I mean, she zoomed me down the hall. I was clutching my purse like this, cause we were moving. And we got right to the door of the trauma room and I looked on the door and I said, brain attack room trauma too? I said, oh my God, that's me. And so then I started to cry, cause I knew this is different than what was happening before. They may not recognize that they're having a stroke cause the portion of the brain that would interpret that difficulty is the portion of the brain that's being damaged. We are very fortunate in this community that Riverside has a comprehensive stroke center. It brings to the patients and the community the highest level of stroke care out there. Riverside is the place to go if you have a stroke. They were very, very thorough. And now here I am, a year later, I'm back driving. 
I'm, every now and then I still get a little tired, you know, but for the most part, I'm almost back. I would say I'm about probably 97% back to myself. 